Hello there, everyone. Welcome back to Broly555 TV, and welcome back to my series for NCAA Football 07. We are deep, deep in this dynasty mode on NCAA Football 07, a dynasty mode that I have been playing with my friend The Gravy Man for over a year now. And The Gravy Man had a nice end to his regular season, pulling out a 56-13 win over Vanderbilt. The Gravy Man struggled with turnovers a bit in this game, but his defense was rock solid, so it didn't matter. And he finishes the season undefeated, is currently ranked number two in the nation, and if he wins the ACC championship game, the Gravy Man should be booking a trip to the national title game this year. I, on the other hand, while the Gravy Man is having a bye week, I am playing the Civil War against my dreaded rival, the Oregon State Beavers, who are 3-7 and seven overall and coming off of, well, I shouldn't say they're coming off of anything. They're coming off a win, but they're one of the least talented teams in the country, so they have no chance against me. No chance at all. And even though Martin is suspended and Walker is suspended, I should crush these guys. So with that being said, hmm. I'll go with that look. Alright, let's get it going. The Civil War. Oh yeah. We're going to take it to these guys. And they got a solid running back, and the quarterback's okay, but I got the best team in the country, arguably. Although the Gravy Man's team's looking pretty darn special this year, so, hey, he might be the best team. But I'm at least number two. They have no chance against me. I'm Brad Nessler, joined in the booth by Lee Corso and Kirk Herb Street. The fans have dressed in layers, and we'll see some cold temps for the Oregon State Beavers and the Oregon Ducks. And here Jeez. come the Ducks. The Ducks should have their way with this team. Kirby, why don't you tell us about their star? Oregon comes into this football game led by their quarterback, and he's such a leader, Brad. Believe me, he won't buy into any of this pregame. We're going to blow him out, Hoopla. He's a focused competitor, and he'll be ready to play. You're absolutely right. Go Ducks! Whack, whack, whack! Well, that's it for our pregame. Let's get down to the field so do, we can do, get this do, 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 do. All right, let's get this on, ladies and germs. What you gonna do, boys? I'm gonna kick. So I like starting with the ball in the second half. Oregon, Oregon is lined up to we'll kick the ball off first, and we are ready to go. Boom. This away. Pittman fields it in the end zone. Boom. So now we'll get to see the offense come out of the field for their first drive of this game. Come on, defense. Let's get a stop. You get to watch a very talented quarterback direct the offense. The head coach mentioned earlier in the week, how important it is for him to have a good game. There's no doubt about it. He needs to play well today, but it's not going to be easy. He's going up against a Boom, there you go. You can have the Great D. I'll take this quarterback in this matchup any day of the week. All right, Otson, get into it. Number seven with three wide receivers. Nice. That's how you bring the heat, boys. And just so you guys know, the Gravy Man beat these guys in his season opener, 73-24. to So, Oh, no, no, it was his second game. He beat them 66-31. Oh, come on, people. Uh, Long didn't step in front there. Come on, D. Oregon State goes with the ace set here. Nice fumble. Oh. Come on. 
Come on, emulator, stop glitching. Very close to turning it over, but they'll keep possession of the football. Way to play heads up out there. That's just one more reason to play to the whistle. Williams lines up as a single back. And they make the stop at the 45-yard oh. line. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. Third, so another ten. third down upcoming for the offense. Williams alone in the backfield. He's looking to pass. Down the middle. Jeez. Gosh, Dark, come on, defense. You got to do something. not going to let these trainers keep him out of the football game. He's as tough as they come, and he'll be back today. First, First down, down, 10 to go. Ball on the 43 yard line. Oregon State comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. There you go, Thurman. Oh! Yeah, I'll take that. Good job, defense. Way to force and recover a fumble. The first thing a running back learns is how to grip the and Oregon secure Ducks the foot start the drive. Hopefully he shakes it off and forgets about it. First There's nothing ten. he can do now. The Ducks come out of the ace formation. Oh, darn it. At the 42-yard line. That's That'll okay. Game. They line up at the 42. All on the 42-yard line. Hmm. Oh, we got to have an outside run, maybe. Okay, here we go. Hmm. Here we go. And the snap goes to the back. There we go. First down and more. Knocked out of bounds. There we go. On defense, it's all about instincts. It didn't look like their instincts worked too well in that play. <laughs> You're right, Lee. There was a lot of running room there. Hmm. Right, here's what they've done on offense. Absolutely amazing. It seems like nobody can stop these guys when they've got the ball, Lee. Yeah. Not bad. Not bad at all. This team has been moving the football and scoring on everybody they play. There we go, Hall. It's like seven, eight yards. They pick up seven or eight yards on the option. Second and two yards to go on the 37-yard line. Hmm. Oregon lines up in a shotgun set. Hmm. Yeah, right, see what we can do here. Brown steps back to pass. He throws left. Ah, oh, come on, Fuller. Was the intended receiver on the play, so that'll make it third down. Third it's third down and two to go. Ball, ball on the 37. All right, let's see if we can get Lupo or scramble for it. The offense lines up with three wide receivers. Surveys ah, the I'm going to scramble for it. And now he's going to improvise. He's there you go. The what an outstanding third down conversion. Yeah, and he showed pretty good quickness there, picking up a nice game. Good quickness and very good decision making. Not a whole lot going on as far as throwing the ball there. He makes a wonderful right. decision, bringing it down and making a big play. The Ducks come out in a shot. I think we'll try the speed option again since it worked so well last time in this look. All right, here we go. We're going to do this, ladies and germs. Brown running the option. And now he pitches it. First down, tie haul. So with that run, they pick up another first. It's a nice job again up front by the offensive line. They're doing a good job of neutralizing the defensive front. And it's allowed them to move the ball down the field. Oregon has mm. done a great job of getting points once they get inside the red zone. Hey, when they get close to the goal line, you can count on some kind of score. They never come away empty-handed. Here we go. On the ground, up the middle. Johnson. There we go. At the two. They get five yards on the play. Hmm. 
All right, burn some more time. Come on, guys, push him back into the end zone. You can do it, boys and girls. Push him back into the end zone so Ty Hall can score his touchdown. Jeez, no one blocked him. in the gun looking to spread out this defense a bit Brown set to go to the air oh my gosh where are my blockers at that'll be a loss of one this should be an easy field goal this will be a 22 yard Oregon is looking to go up by three. The kick is up. Boom. 3-0. Ten plays, 55 yards, 351 off the clock. And this is just a booming kick. Pittman fields it in the end zone. Not sure the defense will be trying to strip All right, the ball good hand. play on the special teams. Let's see if the D can get another stop. There you go. That one sailed on it. He wanted his receiver. I think that may have slipped out of his hand. And second down and 10 to go. Oregon State comes to the line. Only one man in the backfield. Williams takes it left. Jeez. Taken down at the 33. And the halfback ripped off a nice gain there to get him the first. first hey, this kid's a good Come on, D. Let's see if they can do our hit. The Beaver come out in the ace formation. There you go, Ward. At the 34. Maybe a yard on the run by the tailback. From their own 34 yard line. Second and nine coming up here. Williams is the single setback. Give to the tailback. Tackle at the 34 yard line. Back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. They line up at the 34. Here's third and nine. All right, D, come on. Oregon State lines up in a bunch formation. Drops back to back. Feeling the pressure. Oh. Good job, defense. That's how you get a stop on third down. Oregon State lining up the punt. Ball back deep to return. He gets it away. Ball, ball oh, fair catch game. this bad boy. A scoring drive the last time out for this offense, and they'll huddle up for this drive. First and ten. Ball on the 24. Hmm. All right. The defense is playing the pass on this one. You guys can line up like that. I got a counter. Oh yeah, there we go. Brown to the air on first down. Yeah. There we go. At the 43 yard line. So that one goes for a decent gain. And guys, his running ability sure makes him hard to stop. No doubt about it, Brad. Whenever you have a fast quarterback like this guy, it just adds another element to your offense. Oregon lines up with three receivers. Brown 
Drops back on first down. There he goes. Knocked out about there we go. the 47-yard line. Horner probably just has a stinger here. We'll keep you updated on his status. Yeah, I'm not sure what yeah. happened down there on the field. I hope this kid can get back in the game, though. All right. Second From the 47-yard line. Oh, on the 47 it's second yard down. Line. The Ducks Jack set up in the gun. Two. Brown steps back to pass, looking, fires. No, 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 Perry, touchdown. And the halfback just exploded for the huge play. There you go. If he keeps playing like this, he'll be playing with the big boys on Sundays. And let me tell you something, Kirk. Nowadays, the pros are always looking for running backs who can run and catch. And this guy can do it all. Boom, 10-0. And under three minutes to go. Number 24 is lined up to kick this one off. Boom. Nice kick, plenty of distance. There we go. There we go. User tackle. Nice 10 0 lead. Oregon State goes with the ace set here. He drops back. He passes it. And it's caught with the spin. Jeez. Tackles him at the 35 yard line. The defense was coming with heat on that play. Yep, but the offense was trying to do a good job of picking up their assignments. And that gave the quarterback enough time to throw a nice pass to pick up the first down. He dropped back. Over the middle. Nice. There you go. Turner was the intended receiver on the play. That'll bring up second down. Second, second down and 10 to go. On the 35. Ball 35. Oregon State comes to the line. Only one man in the backfield. Back to pass. Boom! 27 with the sack. And they get the sack. There you go. They line up at the 33. Third down. The Beaver line up with a single set back to it. Drops back to pass. And he's hit as he throws. Nope. And it falls <laughs> Again. Was the intended receiver on that pass. That'll bring up a punting situation. The punter comes on the field, getting ready to send one off. He punts it. Signals for a fair catch. Their last drive ended with a touchdown. We'll see what happens on this possession. Hmm. They'll set up shots at the 26 yard line. The 26 yard line. First and 10. Come on, block for Ty Hall, boys. Come out of the ace formation. Ah, darn it. Almost got away from him. It's four yards. Four yards on the play. Second down. Brown lines up in the shotgun. Hmm. Brown back to pass. He passes it. Oh, that's a nice play. About three yards that time on the screen. They line up at the 33. Ball on the Here's a third and three. Ooh. The Ducks are lining up with three receivers. And they'll try to get the first through the air. Looks. There he goes. First down, Brown. There we go. Yeah, good 
job by the quarterback of recognizing where the first down marker was and running for the first. They line up at the 36. First down. Hall, the lone back. Oh, geez. Brings him down at the 40 yard line. Hall. Oh, at least he got four yards. yards. Wait, that's normal shotgun. Second they line up six. at the 40. Ball oh, it's second down. The Ducks come out showing three wide. Back to pass. Rolls right. He unloads it. It's complete. Johnson. There you go. Good decision. He ran a good route there and was able to pick up yards underneath the coverage. It's okay to move the ball in small portions because it relaxes the offense. It can open things up for the big play. All right, and that's the end of the first quarter. I lead 10-0. It's going good so far. We're up two scores. We're dominating the clock. Defense is playing well. And that'll be the end of the first quarter with our score. Oregon, 10. Oregon State, nothing. Third the defense will try to stop this third down as they were unsuccessful the first time on this drive. Hall is the single setback. He'll go with Jeez. The he didn't get much, but he got enough for the first down. Well, that's really all they wanted there was to pick up the first down and get a fresh set of downs and continue to move the ball downfield. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 47 yard line. Oh, there's an outside run for Mr. Hall. Just gonna keep on doing it. Keep on doing it. He goes straight to the back. And he gets a lot more than a first down. There you go. Yes, look at my boy run. He looks so good when running the ball. The defense needs to figure out a way to stop them, or else they're going to have no problem putting points on the board. First and mm. 10, ball on the 28. The Ducks come out showing three wide. All right, here we go. Here we go. Brown running the option. Jed's one tackler. He lateral. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Ty Hall, the double juke touchdown. There you go, big boy. That was a thing of beauty right there. And then the. <laughs> that was beautiful. Well, I think they might have gone just a little too far that time. So they're ready for the extra point. Boom, 17 to zero, just like that. He plays 74 yards, 315 off the clock. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Boom! Pittman fields it in the end zone. The offense comes back on the field, hoping to build off their last drive. And they had something going, but were unable to get the in. Oregon State Beavers. They'll go to work at the 17 yard line. First and 10. <laughs> William gets the ball. Jeez. At the 20 yard line, William gets three yards on the play. Second, second down and seven, seven to go. <laughs> Ball on the 20-yard line. 
The defense now really trying to get the crowd into it. They'll keep it on the ground again. Jeez. Sanders with a takedown at the 25. They get about Come on, D. From the Third, and Third and a couple on the 25 yard line. They come out in a goal line set. Come on, D. Oh, he got it. And they keep it on the ground for the first down. Nothing too fancy here. The key is that the running back was able to convert the first down. First down, 10 yards to go. Come on, D. Oregon State comes to the line. Only one man in the backfield. They'll give it off here. And they make the stop at the 30. Three-yard gain by the running back. It's second and seven. Ball on the 30-yard line. Come on, Otson, get loud. Oregon State goes with the ace set here. He'll dump it short. Caught. Jeez. Brought down at the 40-yard line. I'll tell you, this receiver showed really good hands on that play. This kid is always calling for the ball. Oh, 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 oh. plays like that, he'll continue to get the ball. They'll work from the shotgun. William. Oh, get some. Tony Haley says no to drugs. Boom. Come on, D. Second down. Ball on the 39 yard line. Trying to get that home field advantage, and the defense is doing their best to fire up this crowd. Looking to throw. He lets it go. There we go. Yo, you can credit that incompletion to the pass rush. Great job of not letting the quarterback get comfortable back there. He didn't throw a good pass at all. Oh, he was under pressure. Good job, boys. It's going to stop here. Oregon State comes to the line. Only one man in the backfield. Looks to pass. Let's it go. Jeez, that is so stupid. You have to do on third and long. Yep. Come on, defense. Right him him the mouth. You gotta do something here. Conversion to get the first down. The Beaver line up with a single setback to you. You'll get the call again. Jeez. At the 45, Williams gets about four yards on the play. Second it's second down and six to go. This is the 10th play of this drive. The defense looking to make this crowd a factor. Oh, get some. They can't Good job, Fafita. Oh, man. Dropped passes just aren't acceptable. I don't care if you're getting hit or not. Hey, he'll shake it off. No big six. deal. Watch. They'll go to him again, and he'll come up with the catch. You know, he probably will, but there's still no excuse for the one he just dropped. Single set back for you. Back to pass. Watch the throw outside. Really? Come on, people. Cover somebody. I think this defense is getting tired. I think you're right. They look a little fatigued. But when you continue to give up first downs on third down, you're doing a lot to your first down. I'll tell you something. They need to take the intensity that is working on first and second downs and save some for third down because they're just getting outworked. The Beaver have three receivers bunched. Drops back to pass. He throws. Bro, what? I told him to jump. And he didn't even try! What the hell? I could have picked that off and he didn't even try and jump. That's so stupid. Oh, jeez. Really? Oh, no personal foul? Wow. Oregon, 17. Oregon State, seven. Oregon State to kick this one off. And this one's away. Hall takes it from the six. So their last drive resulted in six points. You think we'll see the same result on this one? They ran the ball extremely well on their last drive. Until this defense figures out how to stop it, I think they'll have no problem moving the ball down the field. This defense may have to move eight or nine in the box to stop this running back, Kirk. Brown hands off. 
Jeez. at the 28-yard line. Hall gets about four yards on the play. They second line up at the 28. Ball second and six. Yard line. The Ducks Two. changing their play at the line. Yeah. Brown drops back, surveys the field. Oh, come on, get him. Get him. Yeah, Fuller with the big catch. The there we go. That was a good catch right there. First down, 10 to go. Hmm. All right, outside run it is. <sighs> we be controlling the clock. Controlling the clock. There we go. Good yards. The running back gives them six yards on the ground. From the 24 yard line, it's second and four. Ah, they remember. Back in the gun. 391. Yeah, there you go, buddy. Back to pass. He's looking. Oh, I, I tried to go around my lineman. I failed on that one. That was just a good play call by uh, Oregon State. This defense is really giving up a lot of yards in every game. <laughs> you call that a lot? I call it a ton. They couldn't stop a peewee team from scoring. They come out with three wide receivers. Hmm. Brown on the option. He pitches it way down the field. There you go. He shoved out of bounds at the 15. A nice third down conversion there. Guys, this offense has a tendency to run the football in this situation, as you can see with good reason, or any situation for that matter. If I'm the coach, I'm going to run the option play over and over again until they prove to me that they can stop it. They'll work from the shotgun. He's rolling right. He looks. He decides to run with it. Touchdown, Sam Brown. Yeah. This guy is proving that quarterbacks know how to do more than just throw the football. That's true. Sam Brown. Say his name is Sam Brown. They're setting up for the PAT. Do, 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 do. Boom. He makes the PAT. So we take a moment boop, to check boop, out the boop, 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 boop. Do, 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 do. Boom! Hitman fields it at the two. Guys, their last possession, they really had good success passing the ball. Hey, dash me. I dared out some more. Hey, I agree. Make them show you that they can. Come on, D, you gotta stop. Back to pass. Quick throw. Complete. Jeez, come on. Well, that's the way to do it on first down. It was a nice throw and catch, and it will give them another first down. Absolutely. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 38. Oh, big sack by number 27. At the 33 yard line. His second sack of the game. Second down, 15 to go. Ball on the 
three. This sellout crowd is really making a difference now as these guys can't even call the play. He's looking to pass over the middle. Brock Jeez. The quarterback just lasered that one down the field, coach. Yeah, the defender had no Come on, D. Third and four. Ball on the 44. The Beaver come out in a bunch formation. Jeez, come on. How about that pass, fellas? Well, Brad, the defense was coming with the blitz, and that opened some room for these guys to get open. Yeah, and if you're coming with the blitz, you better get to this quarterback. Otherwise, he'll make you pay. Oregon State lines up with three receivers. Dumps it incomplete. Oh. He just put a little too much air under that one. That's one of the reasons defenses like to blitz, not only to sack the quarterback, but also to force him into making bad throws. From the 48-yard line, second down. The Beaver line up with a single set back to you. Setting up play action. Across the middle. Oh, jeez. I thought that one was going to sail high, but he pulled it down. And Brad, the ball is never out of reach if this young man is on the receiving end. Come on, Hudson, get louder. He's backfield. Drops back on first down. Throws. Catches it. Ward with a takedown at the 32 yard line. That play was going nowhere. Yeah, give a lot of credit to the defense here. Second recognizing seven. pass and Ball swarming the to the receiver. Yard. The D-line shifts over. One man backfield. Looking to throw. Wants to throw outside. There you go. Incomplete. Number 88 was the intended receiver on the play. That'll make it third down. Third the offense seven. faces another third All down as they line it up. Yards. Oregon State lines up in a bunch formation. Drops back to pass. Stepping up. Looking. Number seven. Oh, fourth down. That's how you do it, bro. I'm surprised that he dropped that one, Coach. I am too, but don't take anything away from this defense. That was a perfectly timed hit. There wasn't much the receiver could do that. Come time. on, D. He had a man in his face as soon as he touched the football. Oregon State goes with the ace set here. Drops back to pass. Throws this one out to the left. Really? Come on! Why can't we get a stop on these guys? They suck. They literally suck. They're the least talented offense in Division One. And we can't stop these guys, yeah, really. Our old spice red zone number. Red zone when performance matters most. The Beaver come out in the ace formation, throws it out there. Oh, That's geez. incomplete. What a close call for this defense. You're absolutely right. You're not going to see him drop the ball like that too well. What a break for the defense. Second down, ten yards to go. Ball on the twelve. The Beaver line up with a single set backfield. Surveys the field. Oh, good job, Ward. You got to be careful throwing in the coverage like that. Well, Coach, I don't think it was a poor decision. It was just a great reaction by the man in coverage. It's third down. Oregon State comes to the line with three wide. Back to pass. He's looking. Let's it fly. There you go. It looked like the quarterback thought he had an open receiver there. Field goal's a win. I don't know how you could miss him. He's huge. And he came up with a very, very nice play. It's up. And he got it. And here's the Pontiac drive somewhere. <laughs> 24 to 10 me. This one away. Hall and Thurman back ready to return. He kicks it off. Hall fields it at the two. There you go. They did a great job on their last drive, moving the ball down the field for a touchdown. Let's see if they can duplicate that on this drive. All right, let's take a look at the offensive production numbers brought to you by Coke. Oregon lines up in a shotgun set. Direct snap to the back. They'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. A five-yard pickup for the tailback. Right. 
Second it's second and five, five here. Ball on the 28-yard line. Oregon comes to the line with three wide. All right, here we go. Might be able to get this one off. Brown running the option. Now he pitches it. Tackle made. There we go. So they keep him in the field of play, guys. Yeah, good pick up here on the ground, but I bet the coach would have been happier if he was able to get out of bounds on that play to stop the clock. Remember, the clock stops to move the chains, but it'll start up again once they are set, so they have to hurry up. Oregon lines up in a shotgun set. Back to pass. Throws, and they've got the screen set. Jeez. They'll get him for a loss. And they back up three yards on that play. Three-yard loss on the play. From their own 41-yard line, Ball second and 13 coming up line. here. The Beavers bring in their dive package. Yeah, right. Drops back to pass. Looking. Throws it. Oh, God. come on, Brown. He was wide open. Oh, you got to hit the open man. That's a painful incompletion for the offensive coordinator to watch. Ball it's third down at 13 to go. Line. Ball on the 41 yard line. Yeah, From the gun. He's looking to pass. He looks. Looks like he's going to run. Gets that one. He nice. gets hit out of bounds at the 43. A big gain on that quarterback scramble. Boy, defensive breakdown here. Good defense. They had everybody covered, but they left the quarterback with a lot of running room. The key word is but. Good defense, but. You got to keep your eye on that kid. Brown drops to throw. He rolls out to the right. Throws this one out to the right. And he's got him again. And they push him out. Oregon will take a timeout. That's their first of the half. Hey, how close am I? First it's ten. first down. All right. Ball on the 22 yard line. He gets it up. There we go. 27-10. Oregon is ready to kick it away. Boom. Number 88 fields it in the end zone. 27-10, me at the half. The score, Oregon 27, Oregon State 10. Beavs are playing hard, but I have them outgunned. Outgained the Beavers 336 to 218 in the first half. 221 rushing for me, only 26 for them. They outpassed me 192 to 115. I've sacked them three times. They've gone 6 of 10 on third downs. I'm 5 of 6. And they converted their one fourth down, but they have the game's one turnover, and I have none. Sam Brown is seven of nine, one fifteen, one score, no picks, and seven carries for seventy two yards and a score. Ty Hall is sixteen for one forty nine and a score. We got a forty seven yard touchdown reception for Perry, two for forty one for Fuller, and Lupo three for twenty one, and Hall had a six yard reception. And with that, we're gonna try and get a touchdown on this opening drive. We're ready to start the second half. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. And this one's away. Hall from his own end zone. And now we'll see the offense come out onto the field for their next possession. They'll get the ball here at the 28. Oregon lines up with three receivers. They'll throw on first down, and it's caught. Fuller with the first down. At the 41 yard line. Oh, oh dude. A bit Hopefully it's down. a really short-term injury. It's 
It's first and ten. Ball on the 41-yard line. The Ducks line up with four wideouts. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. He makes the stop at the 45-yard line. He carries the ball for three, maybe four yards. From their own 45-yard line, it's second down. Brown lines up in the shotgun. Please block for Ty Hall, boys. Again with the run. There we go, Ty Hall. Nice run. And that looked like the same exact play they just ran. I think it was the exact same play, and that was a great pickup, too. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the yep. four. Matt Boyd will return. The offense lines up with three, three wide receivers. <clears throat> there we go. Brown drops back to pass. Oh man! And the completion that's Excellent. some very little yardage. Coach, what's up with that boy? I'll tell you, those defenders crashed in and got him in a hurry. No chance to get anything there. They line up at the 42. Second and eight mm, I don't mind grinding clock. It's perfectly acceptable to me. They come out with three wide receivers. Hmm. I don't like the way they're lined up. Oh, man, he played that one smart, but I still got five yards on the play. Third and We've one. got third down and Ball one. Ball to 35. From the gun. <sighs> Just gonna own the clock, own the clock, own the clock, own the clock. Brown will throw for it, surveys the field. He's gonna take off. Oh, nice that stiff arm, Brown. That's a great tackle. Oh, no. I hope he's not hurt long term. I want to say mind over matter, but if you're hurt, you're hurt. Simple as that. Nothing you can do about it. That's okay, I got Nate Costa. Have a look at our Old Spice Red Zone numbers. Red Zone, when performance matters most. The Ducks set up in the gun. The play clock's at zero. They took too much time. Hmm. There might have been some miscommunication down there. And any time there's a delay of game, it's usually because they were late getting the right personnel on the field. He looks to throw on first down. It's complete. Nice. Touchdown, Fuller. Touchdown number 15 for this receiver on the season. The defense knew that this receiver was one of the main players they had to shut down. But this kid is so good that no matter how many people they cover him with, he still makes plays. This guy always finds a way to get open. He makes the quarterback's job look easy. Just throw the ball up. Let him come down with it. Boom. Good job, Costa. PAT. And now we'll take a look at the Pontiac drive summary. Oregon is lining up to kick this one off. Boom. Hitman fields it in the end zone. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports.
Okay, so he'll be out maybe the rest of the game. That's okay. At least I'll have Sam Brown for the natty. Defense was coming with heat on that plate. Yeah, because the offensive line did a good job of picking up their assignments. And that gave the quarterback enough time to throw a nice pass to pick up the first down. The Beaver line up with a single set back to you. They get it out there on the toss. Sonny with a takedown at the 32-yard line. They get five yards on the play. They line up at the 32. Second down and five. One man backfield. Looking to pass. Looking. Oh. There you go. And that Good hit. Play. Yeah, guys, this is because he's Come a on, D. position to make the play. That'll bring up third down. Oh, uh, 32 yard from their own 32-yard line. It's third down. Number seven comes to the line with three wide. He drops back. Look out. Oh, fourth down. What a hit by Haley. They're going to be forced to punt it away here. Oregon State oh, lining up the punt. Hall is back deep to return the punt. He gets it off. Signals for a fair catch. This is where I look for the defense to clamp down after some sloppy tackling the last time. They let this offense run all over them, all the way to the end zone. And I don't see that happening. They'll again. start the drive. They'll go to work at 23. Hmm, let's see how they do. The Ducks set up in the gun. It's a direct snap. Jeez, that guy read it. At the 25-yard line, Hall picks up two yards with a carry, so that'll make it second down. So hmm. they line up at the 25. The 25 it's second down. Line. Let's see what we can do here. We'll try the speed option of Costa, see how it goes. Here's the option left. Ah, oh, darn it. to something else. Costa, back to throw. Looks. Oh yeah, there you go, Fuller. There you go. Nice. Why does this stat not surprise me? With that catch, is totally yards for the day. Over 100. Good job, Costa. Good pass. First it's ten. first and ten. Ball, Ball on the 37 yard line. Yard line. Hall, the lone back. Jeez, someone gonna run block for Ty Hall ever again? It's second and ten. Ball on the 37 yard line. Oregon sets up with four receivers. Jeez, didn't even get a chance to go step forward. That's a two yard loss. Third the offense faces another third down as they line it up. Going with the shotgun here. Hmm. Back to 
pass. Surveys the field. Let's nope. Fly. Oh, he got it. Fuller with another touchdown. His third of the day. And he comes up with his second touchdown catch of the game. Right oh, it's there. only his second? I thought it was his third. Yeah, you're right, coach. You try to keep tabs on him, but eventually he's yeah, whatever. Way to get open. I think you need a double team. <laughs> oh, yeah, it is his second. Never mind. They're setting up for the PAT. Boom, 41 to 10. They line up to kick this one away. He sends it downfield. Hitman fields it in the end zone. Defense did a good job against him the last time they had the ball, forcing the punt. But remember, they had given up quite a few yards before forcing that punt. They might not be so lucky this the time. The Oregon State Beavers will start the drive at the 20 yard line. First down, look at the throw. Nice. There you go. Pass right there. No, it wasn't, Kirk. That was not a good pass at all. But hey, in his defense, he had to get it off to avoid the sack. The Beavers line up with a single set back to it. Back to pass. And he's hammered as he lets it go. Pressure that time, but he was forced into throwing before he wanted to. All right, keep bringing the heat, boys. From their own 20-yard line. It's third down and 10. Oregon State goes with the ace set here. Looks to pass. Boom! Humble! There you go. At the 11. That one gives him the NCAA record for sacks in a single season, guys. He's been completely unstoppable all year long. He's physically overpowering, and he runs right through every offensive line he's faced. There's no question that this kid is playing on a different level than anyone else. Options out to the left. Now he pitches. Really? It's on the wow. It's picked up by the offense. Nice job, Costa. <laughs> So they almost lost possession there on the option. They're just happy they recovered it. A turnover would have been very costly. Please. The pressure turns up when in the red zone, and that's when they turn to Old Spice red zone, when performance matters most. They come out with four wide out. Inside give. They'll bring him down at the five yard line. Four, maybe five yards on the run. Third five yards four. from a touchdown. Costa is back in the gun. Steps back to pass. Catches it. And touchdown. There you go. That was his third touchdown of the day. Well, the quarterback's going to get a lot of credit, but I think the thing that has helped him the most back there is the protection by the offensive line. He has had plenty of time to make decisions back there in the pocket. And those decisions he's been making are the right ones, too, my friend. Boom. He splits the uprights with the extra point. So we take a moment to check out the Pontiac drive summary. All right, I'm going to bench uh, Ty Hall for the game. I don't want to risk him getting hurt like Sam Brown did. All right, there's Perry and McDuffie, and we've got Miss and Brown, Mr. Banks. And we'll keep the starting receivers out there, too. Number 24 gets set to kick this one away. Boom. And he got all of this one. Great kick. Hitman from his own end zone. We might see two hands on the ball after their last drive. But if you start thinking too much about fumbling, well, we'll become less effective as a runner. First to get out there and play their game. Oregon State comes to the line. Only one man in the backfield. First down. Look at the throw. 
Boom! Nice hit, Haley. Houston was the intended receiver on that pass. That'll make it second down. They line up at the 20. It's second down and 10 to go. One man backfield. Inside handoff, a loss on that one as he couldn't get past those big linemen. You got that right. They sacrificed their bodies in there and stuffed third. And We've ten. got third and ten. Ball on the Ball on the point. Oregon State goes with the ace set here. Come on, D. Drops back to pass. He passes it. Jeez, I whiffed my tackle, but at least we held them to fourth down. But they still didn't get the yards they needed for the first down. And it's tough to get the yardage you're looking for on those third and long situations. Everyone knows the pass is coming. So the defense just sits back and waits to make the play. Hall will be the return man. Number 18, punts it. And this is a wonderful kick. Calls for the fair catch. Let's see if this defense has trouble defending the pass again here. If they do, my friend, look out. They're going to give up another touchdown in a hurry. They'll set up shot at the 25. They'll work from the shotgun. Gives it up the gut. Gibson brings him down at the 30-yard line. They get five yards on the Good play. Good job. Five-yard run on the play. From their own 30-yard line. On the third Second yard down. Line. Oregon State brings in the nickel here. Big dog, big dog. Please block. First down, Perry. There we go. Good carry for the first down. You guys know I like running players with the lead block, but if they can run consistently like they are right now it doesn't matter how they're blocking as long as they block they're gonna make yards as long as it's within the rules of the game right Lee yeah, Oregon State blocked. brings in their nickel package Oh, there we go. First down. So nothing fancy about this offense. They just run the same play over and over. <laughs> no, no kidding. What's that? Like three in a row now? I think it is. Get ready. Number four might be coming up right here. And there we go. Headed the third. I'm up 48 to 10. Unless we see some sort of miracle, this one's pretty much over. Heading to the fourth. Our score, Oregon, 48. Oregon State, 10. First and 10. They line up at the 49. It's first down. They'll line it up with four wide receivers. It goes straight to the back. There we go. Oh. He's tackled in the open field. So they go on the ground and pick up another first down. Yo, nice run and good job to keep the chains moving. They are stringing together a nice little drive here. If they keep this up, it would be hard to keep them out of the end zone. Here's the offensive production statistics, sponsored by Coca-Cola. Come on, run Game block from field. Mr. Perry, guys. Just got to control this clock, keep it rolling, and we'll get this done well. Again with the run. Oh. That was well wow. Wow. Hey, that linebacker made a nice play. But what about all those big guys up front on the defensive line? They're good too, boy. Well, they created the play this time, Coach. The offensive line is so concerned with their penetrating abilities right, that these linebackers are able to roam oh, free and make plays like that. Line. Oregon lines up with three receivers. to throw he unloads it it's complete there's lupo first down they call a receiver's number on the screen pass and it results in a new set of down yo that play caught the defense totally off guard 
By the time they realized what was going on, it was too late, because the big fellas in the old line were smashing into people downfield. Yeah, and the D better get ready out there, because the last thing you want to yeah, see as a coach is your secondary go. taking on blocks by 300 pounders. First down, look at the throw. He rolls out to the left. He's going to take off. He's there you go. At the eight-yard line. Nice job by the quarterback to tuck that one and run. Nice job here. He's not the most athletic quarterback out there, but you can see that he makes up for it with his decision-making ability. Here he looks downfield, finds nobody open, and decides to take off with it and comes up with a solid game. The last time they were in the red zone, they got a touchdown out of it. Nick Jesse with the score. Well, at this point, these guys are just out there padding stats and running up the score. Sometimes you play in a game and you can't do anything wrong. You find yourself in a rhythm or a zone. This whole team seems like they've been in a rhythm since we kicked this game off. Now they'll try to tack on the extra point. And he hits the PAT. Better than eight minutes of play left in this ball game, and our score: Oregon 55, Oregon State 10. All right, let's put Costa on the bench. Uh, we're gonna put in McCollum, Lucas, Johnson. There we go. Oregon. Actually, you know, we should probably take out my best receiver, too, Fuller. Yeah, we're taking Fuller out as well. All right, let's go to the receiver. Let's put in... No, no, no. Let's put in... Loop... Uh, no, no. It'd be Jacobs. And then Lupo. Sniff. Williams. All right. He really got a hold of that kick. Number eighty eight fields it in the end zone. Make the move. He's They've been getting walloped all day, but at least they're still working hard. I like a team that never quits. Here are the offensive production stats, brought to you today by Coca-Cola. Oregon State comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. He drops back. He throws it. Jeez, come on, Sanny. You gotta knock that down. Nice job by the quarterback to hit the tight end for a decent game. Yeah, this guy's not going to burn too many guys in. He's definitely a good possession guy who you can rely on. Trying to make it hard to hear the defense. There he go. So the halfback loses about two on the roster. of two on the play. They line up at the 27th. Third down and two to go. Oregon State lines up in a goal line set. Play fake, number seven, rifles it. Really? Room to rumble across midfield. Jeez, come on, people. The down to the 28. They dialed the fullback's number that time. Yeah, he rumbled for quite a few yards in that place. And when the fullback does that in a pass play, you know either they found a weakness in this defense or the old ball coach is digging deep. I mean, really deep, my friend. The Beaver come out in the ace formation. They'll throw on first down. Boom. And it falls in. There we go. With that pressure, he just couldn't do much with it. His chance of accuracy on that throw was practically zero. Good job, the Beaver. Second down, ten yards to go. Number seven has four receivers lined up here. Back to pass. Number seven slings it. Jeez, come on, people. Defend the pass. It's really easy to overlook those guys in the line. Yeah, the defense came after them, and those linemen held them long enough for the quarterback to throw for a first down. The offense lines up with three wide receivers. 
fakes to the back. Number seven throws it out there. It's complete. Really? Wow. At the two yard line. And fellas, this is really turning into a very impressive drive. First three first downs and counting on this drive, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building some momentum here. And more importantly, they've kept this defense on the field. Let's see if they can get it in for the touchdown. Davis on the Jeez. run. I'm sure they won't win it, but they haven't quit yet. The fullback bangs his way into the end zone there. Boy, I'm a big fan of giving the fullback carries down near the goal line. He's so big. Who's going to stop him? Yeah, you're right. Good play calling there by the coaches. <laughs> he makes the PAT. And here's the Pontiac drive summary. Number 18, looks ready to kick this one off. Decent kick. Thurman passes the five. Bubbles the ball. Really? Oh, come on. What is going on? Why are you playing like trash all of a sudden? Let's take a look at the offensive production number. Brought to you by Coke. They're really struggling now as this crowd is going absolutely insane. Looking to throw. Quick toss. Catches it. Jeez. We're just doing nothing all of a sudden. Catch there. Have a look at our Old Spice Red Zone numbers. Red Zone, when performance matters most. Another trip to the red zone. Last time, it resulted in a touchdown. On play action. Rolling out to the right side. Throws it. Really? Really? You don't even try to jump. Jeez. Usually in this area, defenders are all bunched up and it's hard to find an open receiver. This quarterback did an outstanding job of leading the company. They line up for the point after. And he adds the extra point. Wow, really? After the kick. What are they going to call here? Running into the kicker on the defense. And it looks like they're ready for the pickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. Thurman from his own end zone. I expect to see some good clock management right here. Yep, coach. They've already warmed up the buses for the end of this game. Here's the offensive production statistics, sponsored by Coca-Cola. Ace backfield. They'll give it off here. Gee, anyone want to block? Defense just anyone? On that one. Yeah, they were able to penetrate the offensive line and get to the running back before that play even had a chance. From their own 19-yard line, on the 19 second down and 10 to go. First down. There we go. This wide receiver keeps the offense moving in the right direction by breaking the screen pass for a first down. Coaches, you know quarterbacks love it when they have a wide receiver who can take a lateral pass and turn it into a big gain like this. I mean, not only is it an easy throw, but it looks great for the quarterback stats. You're right, Kirk. How about the receiver stats? These guys just love bragging about their yak yardage. And the wide receiver screen might be the best play in the book when it comes to yards after catch. Is. At the 31 yard line. And he gets a yard on the run. Second, Second down and nine to go. Oregon changing their play. Goal 
No, 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 no. Oh, bro. Excellent job of getting a hand in there to break up the pass. It was, coach. That one had reception written all over it, but the defender stepped up and made the play. Third well, that'll down. make it third down. On the 31-yard line. line. Third down. Going with the shotgun here. McCollum drops back to pass. Let's it go. There we go. First down. They'll bring him down at the 45. Nice play call to get him the conversion when a team converts on third down they can really frustrate a defense when they convert a third and long it just makes them sick one man backfield it's the tailback Jeez, no one wants to run block for Mr. Perry right now. This guy has to protect himself. You're not kidding. He got walloped on that play. Second, second down and 12. Ball on the 43 yard, yard, yard line. The defense comes out with five defensive backs this time. Here's a quick throw. Ah, oh, Jacobs, bro. Come on. They went with a screen pass. Well, they went with a the screen there, but the defense was prepared. They were ready for third it. And the offense faces another third down as they line it up. The Ducks changing their play at the line. 391. Back to pass, looking, rolls to the right, he throws. Oh, come on, Lupo. Number 85 is walking off the field now. Of course. Have a close look at him. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. McCollum lines up in the shotgun. Oh, and of course you throw it out of bounds like the loser you are. Well, they'll turn the ball over on down. Yeah, football is a game of field position. They'll they just lost the battle right there. First excellent down. field position to start the drive. One man backfield. Play action. Wait till the last. Yeah, Walter Thurman says I'm picking this sucker off, and I'm returning it for six. There you go. Kirk. Yeah, but how about the play by the defender? That was a great interception and an even better effort to bring the ball yeah. back for a touchdown. That was beautiful, Walter. Makes up for that fumble you had. They'll line it up for the extra point. Boom. He splits the upright with the extra point. So under three minutes to go in the fourth quarter, and the score is Oregon 62, Oregon State 24. Boom. He hits a booming kick. Gore from the zone end zone. And it looks like there's an injury down. Oh no! Haley! Hopefully that's a stinger. They'll take over at the 20. They finally bench their quarterback and the backups in now. Sweep left. There you go. Oh, tackles him behind the line for a loss on the play. And they lose a couple there. Right, second down and 12. Ball on the 18-yard line. 
Graham with four wide receivers. Graham still has it, and it's a true freshman. Jeez, come on, people. Like oh, now Ward's hurt. Oh, come on. Right on the old noggin. Hopefully that's short term as well. Third From their own 30 yard line. Ball on the 30 it's yard third line. down. The Beaver line up with a single set back to you. Graham will throw for it. He passes it. There we go. One's fallen incomplete. Excellent series by this defense, forcing them to go three and out. The offense really struggled on this drive. They're going to have to pick it up if they want to move the ball on these guys. Number 18 is waiting for the snap. He gets it off. Hall fields it to 30. Hall loses the Really? Ball. This is bull honky. I tried to go out of bounds. Yeah, the ball carrier just didn't do a good job of protecting Wow. I am getting screwed here in the fourth quarter. Ball on the 36. Oregon State lines up with three receivers. They'll throw on first down. <laughs> what the hell? I mean, I know I'm going to win this game, but this stuff is total BS, man. It should not be happening, even if my third string in there. The Beaver come out in the ace formation. He's got to throw it in a hurry. There you go. Third down. Third and six. Ball on the 32 yard line. Oregon State comes to the line, only one man. Nice! He might not be able to get the pass off. This guy's coming in, gets two sacks. Great play by the defense. Well, that time they came with the blitz and the line. Oh, I guess he wasn't the guy at the other sack. Still, he came flying in. Looks like they're going to go for it on fourth down. Graham needs this pass. Boom! Brown of his second straight sack. That's how you do it, bro. You know, Kirk, this defense continues to go all out. And you can better coach these guys for making sure these guys yeah. never give up. That's right, because a lot of teams will lose the intensity when the game's already been decided. But not these young men. Another good stop right there. First and ten. Ball on their own 46. They come out with three wide receivers. McCollum steps back to pass. Looking, going deep. Yeah, give it to me. And he's got Take that. And he's all the way in for the touchdown. Come on, sweetheart. What are you doing? You don't have to rub it in like this. Yeah, coach, but then again, it is their job to stop this offense. I mean, they can't help if their plays are working so well. Well, if that's the case, then I hope they schedule these guys again because there's nothing sweeter than getting revenge on the team that likes to run up the score. So with less than a minute to go in the fourth quarter, the score is Oregon 69, Oregon State 24. Oregon, yeah. this one off. Boom. He sends it off. Gore fields it in the end zone. Guys, what do you think about this situation? Hopefully we'll see the offense move this ball up the field a little bit. Yeah, coach, they really haven't had too much success today. But this is an opportunity for them to get their team back on track and build some confidence going into the next game. Graham to the air on first down. Jeez. And he's taken down at the 23-yard line. He ran a good-looking route and picked up positive yardage. That he did, and he made a good catch. That short pass okay, so Haley will be back for the bowl game. That's good. What about Ward, though? The Beaver come out showing three wide. There you go. This is what you call a run blitz. The key is to be penetrate and disrupt the running back. Not allowing him to follow his blockers. Here the defense does a good job and comes up with a nice stop. 
The Beaver lined up with a single set backfield. Ball is loose. Fumble. It's picked up by the defense. Yeah. Oh. At the 14 yard line. Not much hope now. That fumble. Good job, D. Way to get a turnover. They lose it big. Let's just hope they don't throw the towel in all together. The offense will start at the 14 yard line. First and 10. Oregon comes out in the shotgun. McCollum steps back to pass. No one opens. He's going to run. And he's level at the 10 yard line. Oregon will call a timeout, and they've got two remaining. All right, let's put a field goal on the board. They line up at the 10. It's second down, six yards to go. Another trip to the red zone. Last time, it resulted in a touchdown. The kick is up. Boom. 72-24 final. I'll take that. Undefeated regular season again. So this rivalry will have to wait another year to renew their acquaintances. Was this one any different than previous years? They've talked about the rivalry all week long, and for good reason. We saw the intensity down on the field every play, and it showed us why these teams love to hate each other. It'll be interesting to see how this game carries over to the next time they play. So for Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreet, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye, everybody, and thanks for tuning in. Well, that was a weird, wild one, but I won. Outgained Oregon State 656 to 340 in total offense. Ran for 329, outheld them to 12 rushing yards. They outpassed me 328 to 327, but I only gave up one sack while sacking them seven times. I ended up holding them to 7 of 17 on third down, which included going uh, 1 of 7 in the second half. Well, I went 10 of 12 on third downs. They were one of two on fourth downs. I was 0 of 1. I forced four turnovers while only turning it over twice myself. And I won time of possession by a lot. Sam Brown only played the first half in the first possession of the third quarter. Went 9 of 11 for 130 yards of one score, no picks. And had nine carries for 96 yards and a touchdown. Nate Costa went 6 of 6 for 117 with three scores and no picks while running the ball three times for 10 yards. And McCollum went 4 of 7 for 80 yards if one score and no picks and had a 4-yard rush. Ty Hall had 21 carries for 171 and a score. Perry had 8 catches for f eight, uh, 8 carries for 40 yards. And he also had a 47-yard touchdown reception. Fuller had... Seven receptions for 155 yards and two scores. McDuffie had a 54-yard touchdown reception. Lupo had seven for 53 and a score. And Jacobs had two for 12. On defense, Sani had 10 tackles, one for loss, including two pass deflections and a forced fumble. Haley, before he got hurt, had six tackles, three for loss, including one sack and a deflection and a forced fumble. Walter Thurman III had six tackles. One forced fumble, and he returned a pick for six. Long had five tackles. And number 27 had five tackles, four for loss, including two sacks. And Ward had five tackles and one pass deflection before he got hurt. And with that, well, that's all she wrote, ladies and germs. Hopefully you enjoyed watching me win the Civil War, even though things got a little weird in the fourth quarter. And I will see you in the next video. But be sure to hit that subscribe button. Check out my other videos. Leave your likes and comments down below. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my quarter channel. With that, I bid you guys adieu. Farewell. See ya in the next one. Toodles.